Welcome to World Conflict Channel. According to breaking news, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a massive counteroffensive south of Bakhmut. Ukrainian and Russian telegram channels shared information about this. It is reported that large numbers of military personnel participated in the attack and fierce fighting is currently taking place in the region. There are also rumors that Russian forces have withdrawn two kilometers south of the MiG-17 monument in the area. More detailed information about the attack is expected to be shared in the near hours. At the same time, violent clashes are taking place in other directions of Bakhmut too. Wagner forces made some advances north of town, near the AZOM industrial complex. According to new British intelligence report, about half of the convicts recruited six months ago by the private military company Wagner were killed or wounded during military operations in Ukraine. At the same time, as noted in the message, the group fulfills its promise to release the survivors from further serving their sentences. In the coming weeks, thousands of Russian convicts who have fought for Wagner Group are likely to be pardoned and released. Wagner prisoner recruitment peaked in autumn 2022, with inmates being offered commutation of their sentences after six months of service. The certificates issued to freed Wagner veterans claim to have been endorsed by the decree of President Putin, the report reads. At the same time, the intelligence service notes that since Wagner is now most likely prohibited from recruiting new prisoners, the dismissal of prisoners will aggravate the personnel problems of the Wagner. In addition, the sudden influx of often violent offenders with recent and often traumatic combat experience will likely present a significant challenge for Russia's wartime society, the message says. Also, units from the Special Operations Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have destroyed a Strela-10 anti-aircraft missile system and a medium amphibious transport vehicle belonging to the Russian invaders on the southern front. Video footage of this has also been released. In addition to these, another important news of the day is about Zelensky. During a working trip to Donetsk region, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky visited the frontline positions of the Ukrainian military in Bakhmut area and awarded the service members. The head of state heard reports on the operational situation and the course of hostilities on the front line, spoke with service members, and thanked them for the defense of Ukraine, the president's office informs. I am honored to be here today, in the east of our country, in Donbass, and to award our heroes, to thank you, to shake hands. Thank you for protecting the state, sovereignty, the east of Ukraine, Zelensky said. Thanks for watching. You can support us by subscribing to our channel.